common ions. Imagine we try to dissolve AgCl in a solution of one molar MgCl2. Like this. What do the solution and the AgCl have in common? Well, what they have in common is Cl minus ions. Cl minus is called the common ion in this problem. And the way that it affects the dissolution of AgCl is called the common ion effect. Here's the equilibrium for AgCl dissolving in water. If we add some Cl minus ions here, as in the case where we're trying to dissolve it in MgCl2, the equilibrium is going to shift to the left and not as much AgCl will dissolve. That is the common ion effect. So let's just look at the common ion effect. First, we're going to find the molar solubility of AgCl in pure water, and then we're going to compare it to the solubility of AgCl in MgCl2 solution. So here's the pure water case. Here's our equilibrium. There's our KSP expression. I'm going to replace Ag with X, and for every Ag, I'm going to get a Cl, so I'm going to replace Cl with X. So x squared is equal to Ksp. I take the square root of both sides, and I find the solubility is 3.2 times 10 to the negative fifth molar. It's tiny. Now I'm going to look at dissolving AgCl in a one molar MgCl2 solution. I'm actually going to icebox it this time. I have some amount of AgCl initially, a whole bunch of it, and I've got no Ag plus at first. And I've got two molar Cl minus from the MgCl2. The MgCl2 is one molar, but when it dissolves, there's two Cl's produced for every mole of MgCl2. Okay, then I drop my AgCl in there, and it's going to start to dissolve. I'm going to lose some solid, and as I lose the solid as it dissolves, I'm going to get X moles of Ag plus and X moles of Cl minus. And that means at the end, I've got x moles of Ag and 2 plus x moles of Cl minus. We don't really care about this first column here, so I haven't bothered putting any numbers in it really. So my KSP expression, Ag times Cl, is in this case going to be equal to x times 2 plus x. And then, as before, we're going to assume that when x is tiny, and x has got to be tiny here, look how little this number is, x is super tiny, it's going to be absolutely ignorable compared to 2. 2 plus x is just going to be equal to 2. And then I solve for x and find out, whoa, it is really tiny. We can just ignore it when we add it to 2. And our molar solubility is 5 times 10 to the negative 10th way, way smaller than it was when it was in pure water. So not as much AgCl will dissolve in a solution that already contains Cl minus ions. That's the common ion effect. We're done.